A new study from the Census Bureau reveals that immigrants are the reason why the United States population is still on the rise. But how does that make some people feel, guys? There's a wide range of opinions, feelings, and a little bit of fear. But we're going to have a real conversation here because we don't want to be divisive. I'm telling you, this article in the Associated Press got my blood boiling. That's oh. all I'll say, okay? All Whether right. you, you don't know the direction it got my blood boiling, but it was boiling. What did it say? Um, it said, immigration drove white Asian population growth in the U.S. last year. This article was written by Mike Schneider. Andrew, it went very viral on Yahoo News. A lot of boomers chiming in, um, having some, you know, I guess stereotypical comments, but also some non-stereotypical comments. We're here to break it down because, Andrew, silly to serious. I'm going to go ahead and put this, what, more in the serious category because it has to do with the changing racial demographics of America and how dominant historical populations feel good or feel bad about it it sounds serious but maybe i want to talk about it in a silly way the race wars in america make sure you like subscribe and turn on your notifications all right guys let's get into the meat of it i think the title is a little bit confusing but what it's trying to say is due to all the immigrants that came over including white immigrants which we will explain what that is in a second uh it actually helped boost the numbers of the population so that it's actually increasing. Otherwise, without the immigration, of course, the American population would be in a negative decline. Yeah, and I think that there's a lot of feelings about it because I think everybody knows that America needs to be a growing country for capitalism's sake, right? That is macroeconomics 101. You need to keep pumping the system full of workers, paying taxes into Social Security. But Andrew, there's a whole societal angle where previously dominant populations, maybe people who have descended from Western Europeans, they're kind of uncomfortable as we move towards 2045, Andrew, uh, because, you know, at one point, their racial statistics was 90%, 80%, 70%. What are we at? 60%? right now 2045 is going to be 50 percent right 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 and then that will be where the white is the minority but then that phrase sounds bad because people are like what i'm going to be treated like a minority what you mean the roles are going to be switched i'm like no 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 that's not how it's going right to work. that's assuming that all the minorities get along with each other well not even that it all assumes that the world just gets flipped 180. God, anyways, that's not how it works. That's just a triggering phrase. Anyways, guys, uh, we're going to get into the comment section because there's a lot of people weighing in. Um, but yeah, I mean, a notable note, David, is that uh, a the Asian group, people who identify as Asian, that number increased 2.4% in one year in America, David. That's not just East Asian and Southeast Asian. I think that includes South, South Asian and also even... Uh, Central and Western Asian too, possibly. Mm. So I think the number of people who are identifying as Asian, because there's only four different groups, uh, white, Hispanic, black, and Asian, essentially that's all they're measuring. But that's all they track, yeah, even though little... it gets way more nuanced. Andrew, what is somebody from Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan? Are they going to put that they're Russian and Slavic? Or are they going to put that they're Asian? Because a lot of people in those countries are mixed. If that... you're a white Latino... Most people think that Latinos are about 70% Spanish, 30% indigenous, like, you know, Aztec and Mayan. Well, what if you're like 20%? Are you suddenly white when you come to America? D David, are you asking people to look at other people in a nuanced way? <laughs> you want people to have nuance? You want people to think more about other people? You're crazy. Well, let's get into the comment section. Somebody said, what is the most important thing for an immigrant? to accept our constitution, respect our laws, conform to the norms and social fabrics of our society. Apart from that, little else matters, including race. I don't really care what race you are as long as you follow our social norms. And that's the part of that statement that's like a little bit uh, hard for, some people are gonna be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You I, said that real simply. Yeah, yeah, well just follow whatever I do. Then you're good. I be don't care. like me and I won't yeah. hate you if you're so, looking. I agree, people gotta follow the constitution, follow the law. And, fall, and pay your, your taxes. Mm. And I would say on a secondary, you know, learn a few words of English, you know, just so that you can interact with each other. But, but I don't know, social norms, I mean, I think those are just evolving in general, even evolving amongst white Americans or white Americans. Yeah, and I think that there's the capitalistic aspect and then there's the societal fabric aspect. And obviously this varies a lot depending on who you talk to, their entitlement of feeling like distribution ratios mm. are in their favor or narratives are in their favor or not. Um, somebody said, you know, productive and good law-abiding citizens are more than welcome and are much needed. Shame we can't exchange good folks from around the world with the bad folks that we already have here. Basically saying, man, we just need more good people. Please, can, can we get the good people and get rid of the bad people? 
and if we can't get rid of the bad people because they're already here, can we just get more good people to average it out? Well, how do you attract more good people or how do you make people into good people? You got to accept them in and you got to welcome them with open arms. Mm. And if you keep rejecting them or looking them at, looking at them as weird, that's only going to begin this cycle of them feeling rejected and them them not taking pride in it and all this yeah, stuff. There, you know, Are you saying, Andrew, that there's a lot of sides to this and there's a lot of sides of the coin? Yeah, I agree with the statement. That's cool. It'd be cool to just get good people and then get the bad people out. Yeah, I don't know how you do that. But anyways... Somebody said, well, let's be honest. I'm not going to mince words. We are being invaded. Uh, the racial demographics in terms of Western Europeans, descent, heritage Americans, it went from 90 to 80 to 70 to 60. Now we're headed for 54 to 30, 20. I don't like it. Invaded against your will. No, most of these immigrants are coming over legally, but I'm like... Where's all the Europe? Bring some Western Europe. Bring the Germans over. How come Germans don't want to move to America? I, I don't want to go. Like, yeah. uh, you yeah, know, my come, great, 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 great well, grand uncle, he took his family. But wh you know, Where's I all the want... Swedish immigrants, huh? Well, how come they're not? How, where's all the Icelandic? Where's all the, the, you know, where are they at? Why don't you get them over? Uh, they, they get, they're enjoying too much good social floor systems. Somebody's saying, uh, man, this was such a liberal media piece saying that whites are coming to America. Let's be real. Me as a white Anglo-Saxon, I do not consider white Mexicans, Arabs, Iranians. They all counted as white on the census, but they're not white to me. Yeah, this is the issue because like all those groups would be counted as white on the census between those four main groups. So I guess it's pretty simplified, but... Ah, I guess the white group is really big. That's why that's why the white group even increased at all is because it relied on the white Mexicans, Arabs, and Iranians to be counted as white. Right. If you were just basing it off Anglo-Saxon or Western European foundational white people, it would have decreased. The key word is foundational. How could you have anything without us? Don't forget us. It's the foundation. <laughs> I mean, listen, man, I think for me, I, I wish there was more racial nuance in America, I've been fighting for disaggregation of American, you know, Asian American statistics. Not like, you know, I mean, at least stating my support for the disaggregation mm. of it. And I think it would help everybody. But you know what it would require, Andrew? Like, not everybody's like me or you where we study a lot of different types of people and these even, uh, you know, difficult to describe gray area groups. You know, a lot of people want to paint other people that are not their group with like the most simple crayon box possible. Nobody trying to bust out the 128 crayon box because, you know, I feel like they don't care enough about each other other to do mm. that somebody said illegal immigration is a security risk a health risk and a drain on the economy due to the drain on the legal system obviously let's be honest this this is probably uh and by the way there's legal and illegal immigration of every group but it's probably targeted more towards probably latinos right 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 because i, I mean they can just cr physically cross over a physical border yeah right? i guess i mean i i don't know how big of a drain on the system in the economy it is i i am aware uh based off the cnn article and for many years people have talked about how a lot of undocumented immigrants actually do pay taxes more taxes than you would think um but yeah i don't know i don't know you know there's always this balance between securing your borders being a sovereign nation but also being such an immigrant country that wants great talent and needs a workforce so i don't know i mean it's very it's a very push and pull man well i, I think that if you talk to anybody they would say acknowledge that there's some sort of balance of pros and cons and gray area factors that could go either way but a lot of people would weigh them differently depending on their self-interest or just their positioning or their perspectives or their life experiences. Somebody said good news about the Asian immigrant part. Here in California, they increase the property values and they improve the schools when they move into the neighborhood. Great. And then somebody said, uh, yeah, but the problem with these slants is they're all about themselves and they're leftists, which kind of made me laugh. But somebody said, come on, there's gang members too. There's bad apples in every group. They might, might not be doing street violence, but they got the, all those illegal massage parlors. They got gambling dens. They don't pay their taxes. And they're probably cooking dogs. Oh, what do you think, man? Like These people will never be happy. Listen, man, I think... It's true, every group got good and bad. I every think group. every side could lean in to each other a little bit more and unite. I think immigrants, there is an amount of healthy assimilation that needs to happen a little bit more, a little bit more. But also I do think the Americans that are already here need to also be more welcoming. I remember back in the early nineties uh, or the eighties or seventies when, you know, our parents were here in America, it was almost like, 
I think there were so many programs and there was just this kind of open arm culture of white people being like, hey, you're new to this country. Why don't you come on in for dinner? Blah, blah, blah. Now times have changed. I get it. It's not really like that, but you're saying I, the hands across America yeah, days are over. I, right. I think of, a lot uh, of people stop putting in that work and maybe the, I don't know why. The, assimilation is a two way street. Yeah, absolutely. I do agree that, you know, I, I wish I could update a firmware deck into every immigrant's brain about like you know how to move and what they should do or they shouldn't do or like how to position their kids to the most be successful also add value to, to america but it is difficult you know but at the same time the heritage foundational groups they need to accept the people too right mm -hmm. they can't just be like making yeah. it all tribal off the rip because then that's gonna just create more tribalism right uh, there's this comment that says ai artificial intelligence is going to eliminate jobs quicker than our population decline Right, because uh, a lot of people were talking about, well, you need population. And then uh, somebody arguing against that was like, well, AI is going to eliminate all these jobs anyway, so we don't want immigration. Interesting. Listen, so guys. People still have kids. It is macroeconomics 101, though, that capitalism needs workforce. It needs people to be productive or work low level jobs, medium level jobs, hard jobs office jobs, service jobs, retail jobs, blue collar jobs, manual labor jobs, all types of jobs need more people to just uh, uh, to work those jobs, take the money, consume, but then, you know, continue the system. Um, somebody said American level consumption is only feasible for 3 billion people on earth and we already got 8 billion people. Just stop creating people in general. Mm, what about if we stop creating things? Huh? Huh? Why, why should we stop creating people but is it because people need things? Yeah. But this, there's so many things to buy. We should stop making things. Yeah, man. Like we said, there's a lot of angles to this. It's not just like, I look like this, you look like this. I have this, you have that. And then it's as simple as that. I'm not saying that's not a component of how societies run. There's like so many other parts too. You can make tweaks there. Well, what if this stayed? Whatever. Um, Somebody said, you know, uh, diversity is an experiment that is still in session. And to me, as an older white American, I feel like it is kind of failing, but I'm not sure. And somebody else came through and said, oh yeah, diversity doesn't work for you. Even though America was built up by black American slaves and Chinese built the railroads, that wasn't diversity. Right. Right. Well, no, you just don't like diversity because the minorities are now rising up and demanding more things or, 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 succeeding over you that's look at all you don't the like disney it. shows man it's like i can't even relate to any of the new characters in any of the disney oh Plus man shows. i do wish it was that diversity when just everybody would just buy into white culture and just serve me and make me feel good about myself right 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 i, I get it but come on man that's not happening anymore you had a great run man just share a little bit we're not saying that you're gonna be uh you know in a way, like, you know, it's not going to get reversed, right? It's not like Good. foundational white Americans are going to get treated like the, how Try, immigrants were. Like, dude, you're still going to be white, man. It's still going to be good. Trust me. Somebody said, uh, we have way too many people in the U.S. And somebody said, really? China is roughly the same landmass as the U.S. And they literally have 4X as the amount of people. Uh. That is true. That is true. And uh, maybe that has to do with, like, how Chinese people can just not beat each other up in the street, man, because it would just be too crazy. I'll tell you this. If Chinese people beat each other up every time they shoulder-checked each other in the street on accident, it would just be the MMA capital yeah. of the world, okay? Somebody said, in 3,000 years, there will not be any distinctive race on Earth anymore because we will all look kind of like light brownish Asian looking. And then they uh, there's a bunch of photos of like what all people are going to look like. Um, Andrew, do you think that this is going to solve or like kind of calm down some of these like worries that were expressed in the comment section of this article i think that it's tough but like if americans can generally start uniting around certain things maybe not just politics because politics is so divisive but if they can unite around like food events or sports events or like the good old american things it's almost like we need to almost start back at the basics those things really used to bring people together and i think it's unfortunate right now that the world is so divisive as it becomes more diverse too, right. right? And I think people always associate that diversity with divisiveness, which obviously there's some truth to it because people who are diverse are different from one another. But, but how, how can you build a stronger American fabric? Like, what are we doing? And so I think those, it takes both groups, the minorities, the immigrants, and maybe the, the pre-existing like foundational like Americans right and we'll just say white and black americans on this side it's like they they need to they need to move a little closer together yeah i mean ultimately i think that 
man, there's so much stuff to go around. I wish, like I said, I wish I could do a firmware update into all immigrants' heads and, and give them a game plan. It'd be up to them to execute it, but like how to be successful and add value to America in a macro perspective, but be successful for them and their lineages and their generations. They're going to be here, but that's just not how it works. But also people got to accept them, you know, and, and we got to figure it out. I, I don't really have the solutions to this. I think it's like really, really, really complicated, especially if you're just like taking the the feelings generated by the facts from the older generations that may, you know, feel entitled to a certain split, um, you know? You know what I notice is like people really hate being blamed for things. White people hate, hate, hate being blamed for stuff, right? That they are not particular, they were not personally responsible for. Asians and immigrants alike do not want to get blamed for how the country is going. Nobody wants to get blamed, right? right? And people hate it. And if you start to blame the other group, they get so mad at you, then it divides people. So I don't know really I, what the I solution is. I always thought is. that they needed to have a government, like, um, you know, in a lot of countries, Andrew, even in Canada, Australia as well, they actually have a governmental organization that is designed to make everybody get along with each other. Yeah. We don't have that in America. We leave it up to free market capitalism. That's what some people love about America because obviously compared to Australia, compared to Canada or uh, New Zealand, America's economy is much more dynamic, but we could look at some of the things they do too and be like, yeah, I'm going to take that too, you know? like, Yeah. Yeah, like why why does everything have to be so market driven? I don't know. Maybe people know, need man. a government organization, but maybe, maybe there needs to be like some more better like at the Met, there needs to be some like museum exhibit of like Americans uniting or American food around America or like what is like, you know, maybe yeah. there needs to be this big and, American food festival. I don't know, like like something like real how Power Rangers and, and Captain Planet was, but less contrived and more realistic and like actually real and then like you know oh, people address their differences a diverse and like, team and, of and they talk it out and they make jokes about each other but they're all cool at the end so like all the dirty laundry is like aired but then i always have been such a big fan of like airing dirty laundry and over time i feel like the dirty laundry stops smelling that's that my general to, opinion that needs to be a show someone needs to the, the government needs to fund a network that is about uniting Americans. That yeah. would be interesting. Let Hopefully. us know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like I said, I don't think there's any silver bullet solution to this, especially if you want to convince everybody. It's really difficult to do that. Keep it civil. Until next time, we're the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.